Hello, I'm Devin. Uh, we are at uh, Mahendra Heavy Engines Manufacturing uh, Plant, and we have here uh, who are behind the sustainability of Mahendra. So, I would like to ask how long is your The journey of energy productivity started about five years ago, and uh, Mahindra Heavy Engines Private Limited committing to doubling energy productivity in 2060. And now in 2020, they have achieved that. So, sir, when it comes to the energy, there, there is a misconception that there is so much cost. So, what is this progress and how much cost is involved and how much we can save? If we save now, like as you mentioned, we can save for the future. Very true. So, if you look at it in two ways, um, in our own homes, we pay electricity bills of, depending on the size of your home, 1,000 rupees to 3,000 rupees. That's where most of the bills are. If we were to change all our lights to LED, if we were to use the latest air conditioner, the latest washing machines, that electricity bill will become up. Now you look at a factory where 70% of the cost of running a factory is related to energy. And that can again become hard. So, because energy is expensive in India, energy productivity makes a lot of sense. You not only save energy, but you also save money in the process. So, sir, I will come back to you. Now, this plant is so big. How many machines are working and how the cost effective uh, system is working right now? So we, yes, uh, it's a very big plant and uh, we are making almost like 860 engines a day, this is price a thing. and uh, we have many uh, CNC machines, special purpose machines, so we have a machine over here, the assembly lines also, and uh, yes, uh, the overall process cost is really high and uh, because of this initiative in the last four years, whatever we have done, it really helped us to reduce my energy cost. So now, what is like, uh, now three years uh, you are saving, and now what is next stage? What is the company's plan? The company's plan just got decided today, right? <laughs> During the press conference, where the team promised to double energy productivity again in eight years' time, which means in a 12 year span, they will be going 4x, four times the energy productivity. And um, I just want to tell you that, you know, it, the absolute amount of money saved is something that interests a lot of people. But for a business, what matters is what's the return you get on the investment that you make. So suppose you were making a very large investment and getting a, you know, reasonably large saving. Uh, the return may not be very high, but energy productivity returns are very high. And it is almost in excess of 24%. Uh, return on investment and so it's a very good investment there are some projects which are even more uh, which is why if anybody has any cash available for investment investing it in energy productivity makes a lot of sense now we are part of this we now we are the first leader who is making it possible in India uh, the Paris climate uh, agreement also uh, in 2020 will come in. So how do you see uh, the automotive sector overall, not only the your company, but overall, how it will grow with the e So, you know, the automotive sector has many stories going for it right now. Energy productivity is just one. You know we've transitioned from BS4 to BS6 in India. You also know that we are moving towards electric vehicles. These are very big changes uh, for the industry as a whole. Uh, whatever vehicle we make, if we make it more efficiently, then the industry will be more competitive and you know, all of us, will, our jobs will be better and more people will get employed and so on. So EP is a part of that whole big story, but there are many big parts of this story. I would like to ask you, now the big task is on you because three years you have already achieved it and now next eight years you have to give the result. So what is your plan as a person? What is your plan? Yeah, definitely as we see the 
uh, ratio of the economic output divided by the uh, input. But the, so we'll have to work on both the fronts. So we'll have to work on how we can improve our uh, capacity by reducing cycle times and things like that, production output, versus how we can reduce further the energy demand. And a lot of new technologies are there now with the advent of Industry 4.0. A lot of things leveraging IOTs and all we can do. Right now we are doing real-time monitoring. But yes, we can go for a predictive part also. And if we are able to leverage that definitely, the denominator will again shrink further and we will help in the next eight years time to definitely achieve this productive. So we are hoping that in eight years we will again come here yeah. to visit this plant. <laughs> sure, and we are hoping too. Yeah. Good luck. Good thank luck. you. Good luck both of you. Thank you. And thank, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.